This uh, exercise is all about adjusting and paying accrued wages. So our problem starts off with Pablo Management has two part-time employees, each of whom earns $115 a day. They are normally paid on Fridays for work completed Monday through Friday of the same week. So they work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and they get paid on Fridays. They get paid every Friday. Now, they were paid in full on Friday, December the 28th, uh, the last time they were paid. The next week, the two employees worked only four days <clears throat> because New Year's Day was, on, was an unpaid holiday. So they want you to prepare the adjusting entry that would be recorded on Monday, uh, the uh, December 31st which means they've only worked one day. Uh, and let's see, they get paid $115 a piece. So that's what we're looking at right there. Here's a calendar. Last week they were paid on Friday right there. And <clears throat> they were paid the uh, full five days wages. Now, this week they work Monday, which is the 31st of December. And here's the 1st of January. And it's an unpaid holiday. <clears throat> so, uh, and they, I guess they got time off there. So they only worked that one day, which was 31st of December. So let's see if we can do an accrual entry right here. Uh, we owe them $115 a piece, or $230 for both of them. And that one day, Monday, we're going to debit wages expense for 230 and we're going to credit wages payable for 230 That looks like uh, Part A. Now, uh, that's based on, again, two workers making $115 a piece times one day, and that's the full 230 So let's go on to Part B, because Part B, now remember, we didn't pay them anything. We just accrued the wages. Uh, we're only going to pay them right there on the 4th. So let's see. Part B of this problem, prepare the journal entry that would be made to record the payment of the employee's wages on Friday January the 4th, which is right over here. And let's see. Um, we're going to do the following. We're going to debit wage expense for $690, and that's the uh, one, two, three days that they worked at $230 a day for both of them. So it's a total of $630. They didn't work on January the 1st, so we're not going to pay them, and they're not going to work, so all we're going to be concerned with is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So we'll debit wages expense for $690. Uh, we will debit wages payable for 230 and what this is is that's the 230 we had set up here as an accrual uh, back at the end of December 31st. So we're going to actually pay them on Friday for four days that they worked. Three days in January and this one day in December. And that's going to come out to a total cash amount of $920. That's a very important problem and process to understand is this accrual of these wages. All right. I think we're done here.